वेलकम टू माय प्रोजेक्ट आइडियाज दिस इज एन ऑन गोइंग सीरीज ऑन एस एपी यू आई फाइव प्रोजेक्ट एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो विल लर्न हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ पी डी एफ इन टू टेक्सट इन एस एपी यू आई फाइव यूजिंग अ लाइब्रेरी कॉल पी डी एफ डॉट जी एस रिमेंबर वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट एनी स्कैन पी डी एफ इट इज द टेक्सट बेस्ड पी डी एफ दर इज अ पी डी एफ दैट यू कैन क्रिएट यूजिंग अ वर्ड फाइड राइट दो टाइप ऑफ पी डी एफ ऑनली सर्टेली यू नीड टू हैव अ बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट as well as pdf.js file you need to have basic knowledge of sap ui file and certainly you will need access of an ide this ide can be web ide or business application studio so before jumping into actual coding part we have written an article for you this article link will be shared in the description of the video where you can learn all the theoretical part as well as all the coding that we are going to discuss in this video so you can follow this article here we have also provided cdn for pdf.js this cdn will be used in the index file you can also download the cdn and actually upload it up in your ui5 application so that you do not have to call an external javascript file and we have also attached you know the output and the expected sample of the pdf so let's jump into the demo first so what i will do is like i will showcase a pdf file so this pdf file is there sample and you can see this is a small demonstration of a pdf file so what we can do is now upload this file so i'll go to desktop select sample and you can see all the data is extracted in form of text file so if i jump into coding part the first thing that we discussed what cdn right so i have added a small script file here this is a cdn you can download it like control s can be done and it will be saved as a javascript file and this javascript file can be uploaded in a separate folder called js right and then you can use it also in the same manner that i am using the cdn as of now so this cdn is actually you know uh, called directly from controller but in your use case if you are using it as a local file you will have to define it in the define section and create a reference here so it can be something like you know your folder name so it will be something pdf uploader this is the name of my application and the folder name and the file suppose the file name is also something called uh, uh, pdf js this is the file name the file name will not be you know coming with extension file so you do not have to add the extension so i can call it pdf file dot js is not required and then this can be defined here and without definition also you can use it entire you know uh, wherever you want so whenever you are using you have to add the name of the reference so this is done in this way you can actually use the local reference so now if i just start comparing the ui you will see i have a small uh, section for the title which i have defined in the view using title and then i have two component where uh, one is responsible for uploading the pdf and another is a text area which is responsible to showcase the converted content so same thing we have done since we wanted it to be aligned so that's why we are like keeping it inside a b box and you know we are doing an alignment call center fine the uploader is uh, something that have a button Uh, which is called on change of the file so whenever you click upload it, it starts working on that and it is triggered by a function called on file upload and this text area will have an id which will be used by the function to you know uh, populate the value if i jump to the controller part so we have no code written in the life cycle methods we have one function called on file upload and inside that function we have defined a variable that is equal to this to you know keep the instance inside the that function or that uh, variable and then we are getting the file using this particular call where we fetch the event and then get the parameters and within that we get all the files and the first file is the file that you are uploading and then we use the default uh, 
you know javascript functions called file reader and whenever a file is read what we do is like uh, we try to do something called unit 8 array and in that we are passing the file and then we start using the pdf library pdfjs library in that we are doing something called get document we are passing the data and in return within the promise we are get, getting that extracted content so here we get the extracted text content and this extracted text content sometimes does not have space as required so for that we are adding the space whenever a sentence is completed whenever a text is completed you know and then we are just binding it with text area the so text area is the same one that we have placed in the view section and we are fetching it using the id and then we are setting value here so that is the entire thing that we are doing in this particular use case so i can actually run this entire thing once again and this time i can keep a debugging point so that you will be able to understand at what step we are doing what functionality so if i go to the controller place a debugging point here click on upload file choose the sample that is having nothing this is having the instance of uh, this function so if i go to the next that will also have the instance since the value of this changes inside the next function we, we want to preserve it so that we can use this function to get the value of this particular text area okay and then we are getting the file like this you see our file is coming here now and the reader will fetch the file like this and if i go inside jump it inside it fine now we'll keep adding debugging point because we have multiple function calls here so here you see the page is coming but no text is extracted in the text content but once i go inside this function you will see the text content is extracted and they are in form of multiple objects you see means within an array we have multiple objects so what we do is then is like we do a loop and we keep adding so that we have a full sentence so it, the data will keep coming here and we'll keep adding you know a blank uh, in a space and we'll keep adding all the content all together so if i just put it the debugging point here you can see there is no value as of now so now we have one single value called a sample pdf file and now we have something okay again we have no, nothing here so now we have a sample pdf file this is a small demonstration so in this way the things will keep getting added if i jump outside let me remove the debugging point here jump outside and then the entire value is ready and it can be set over here so in this way we actually convert a pdf file into text so i hope you have liked this video you have learned something and uh, we'll discuss more functionalities like this in pdf in the next sections so if you have any comment or if you have any doubt you can just you know ping in, inside the comment section thank you